today I'm in West Milford, New Jersey, part of the Newark watershed. It's a huge area of land, tons of trails, miles of trails and dirt roads to hike on. Uh, I think I remember reading once that you need a permit actually to, to hike here, but I don't know where you would get that permit. I will put uh, a link to how to get here in the description, but uh, if you're familiar with North Jersey, uh, this area of land is boxed in by uh, Route 23 on the south end, Canisteer Road on the east side, Route 515 on the west, and 638, maybe 658 uh, on the north end. Um, and as you walk down the main road that I just came down, the first thing you're going to come to is the foundation of uh, the Williams family home. That's this right here. Now there's this plaque here about the Isaac Williams farm. But I don't think my camera can focus in on that. I don't know, so I'll just read it. Farm circa 1876. And it says, welcome to the Isaac Williams farm. Please enjoy the location. Keep off-road vehicles on the main pass-through road and please only leave footprints. This 13-acre farmstead was part of a larger 300-acre farm owned by the father of Isaac Williams. In 1876, this property was transferred from father to son with Isaac and his wife raising 15 children in the house which was built on the stone foundation before you. 15 kids were raised in this little house. That's crazy. The Williams family, along with other local inhabitants of the time, is buried less than half a mile from here in a little known cemetery just across Highland Lakes Road at the entrance of our driveway. I looked for that cemetery once a couple of years ago and I could not find it. The Isaac Williams family farm is one of the mountain farms of Vernon. One can only imagine the lifestyle involved in making a go on this remote and rocky piece of land. Currently, an effort is being made to clean up the area and to explore some of the farm's outbuildings, evidence of which is seen in several laid-up stone foundations. The Williams Farm is privately owned and sits inside of the Newark watershed. The property continues to be actively farmed as a tree farm. Most of the activity which can be seen is known as timber stand improvement. The area also has a large wildlife population with the brush pile serving as shelter for smaller animals. There is also a rich mixture of birds which is created with forest to open space transition. There is also a rich mixture of birds which is created with the forest to open space transition. Someone should have done a grammar check on that one. South of here, following what is known as Williams Mine Road, you will find the Williams Mine. The mine site has several deep shafts and care must be taken in exploring the site. When at its peak, the mine site contained a small community. The mine is on the trail which bears to the left off of the main road in about 1,500 feet. So the mine is where we're headed today. All right, guys. I finally found the mine. It took a little while. I haven't been up here in quite some time. Uh, it's been a couple of years since the last time I was here. So it took me a little while to find it again, but I finally found it. This right here is the foundation of, a, of an old building. These rocks here go around that way, come around this way, and around again. So this would have been some kind of building here. Don't exactly know what. Here's another one over this way. You can see that rock wall there. 
side. This is the, uh, over here on the left is the best example of one of the remaining foundations. And I remember reading, I think on the Sussex County Excursions Facebook page, I remember reading that this used to be a general store. back here and there's another large foundation back here you can see the rock wall going this way going around 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 and coming around to here Let's go check out the mines. So right across from the general store is the first of the open mine shafts. And I know you can't see down there, but it's filled with water and it is pretty deep. I hope you were able to hear that. Right across from it is another open shaft. And this, oh, look at that. You can see the sun coming through right there. You can see it's filled with water, but you can see the sun coming through the other, the other open shaft further on. Here's the third open shaft. Here's another rock. That was a terrible throw. Let me try that again. I'm awful. I shouldn't play basketball. So to the south end, or is it the west end? Maybe it's the west side. There's another foundation off in the distance. I don't know if those would have been homes or used for storage of stuff. And here's another big foundation here. That's it. That's the Williamsville mine. Last used in 1879, I think that sign said. Pretty cool place to explore. This whole area is uh, really interesting. Very easy to get lost in these woods. But if that's what you're looking for, this is a good place to do it. 
So I thought we'd have one more look at the uh, general store here. This really is a fascinating place to check out. Obviously this fire pit is an original, but I'll bet that stone slab is and whatever was under there, that may have been a fireplace. So guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found the uh, Williamsville mine as interesting as I do. I love finding old historic sites like this all throughout New Jersey. There's so many of them. And uh, they're just there. They're there for anyone to, to stumble upon. If you liked the video, click the like button, hit that share button. Be sure to subscribe for more. And until I see you again, go take a hike.